So what's the craziest thing that you've seen that ultimately was generated by a 3D printer? There's so many different things. There's amazing art that people make that take advantage of the ability to make these unusual geometries. There's these healthcare applications like you know what we're doing in, in dental. There's people walking around with printed orthopedic implants, including pieces of their skull or, or face, spine, other parts. There's parts that, that fly on airplanes. There's so many different things. Actually, we're CES is starting right now in Las Vegas, and I'm sad I'm not there this year, recovering from a COVID case myself. Uh, but one thing that I love to do when I go there is um, there's a startup area. I think they call it Eureka Park or something like that, where there's there's literally like a thousand different startups showing their products. I walk around there, and I can often spot a bunch of our printers' parts in in the prototypes that those companies are showing. For me, that's one of the most rewarding parts of working on this: is that other people trying to build something, create some better product, are using our products to do that and to get there better, faster, cheaper.